Hi, Pam here. So today, this video is going to be about some of the traumatic event that had happened this past July 8th, but it's more gonna be about on this video sharing with you a poem that I wrote about my beloved cats because even though there was so much that I lost that day from that event of the fire, the thing that depressed me the most was losing those two cats. I lost my home, my income, because it was a rental, a place to live, my belongings, but they, that's what bothered me the most. The whole thing was traumatic, the whole thing, but that was by far the worst for me. So anyway, I'm gonna share this poem with you. I've been wanting to share it for a while, but I don't read it very often, and I was afraid I might get upset. So I'm hoping I can do this. And there's the, there's the other ones running around. So, stay tuned. Okay, so, the hard part about it is I never rewrote it. So you can see it's a lot of scribble, so, but I just, it's long. And I just didn't have it in me to rewrite the thing. So here we go. Hopefully I can read around it, but anyway. So here we go, and it'll tell a little bit of the story. And for those of you that don't know, uh, I did cat videos on Jamin and Emma. And um, anyway, yeah, Jamin wasn't even two yet. He would have been two. It happened in July. He would have been two in August. And Emma was just just turned two in June. Okay, so they were very young cats and they meant they meant the world to me. Okay, and you people that have pets know, but they just meant the world. Alright, here we go. Okay, here we go. The pain that I feel is very real. My feline friends, their life now ends. It's like an arrow that pierced my heart those fun and loving moments we now must part. It's difficult to comprehend that fateful day that happened so swiftly and took them away. The home, once so joyous, is now dark and soot-ridden, a place I want to forget and keep those foul memories hidden. There was Jamin and Emma who gave me such wondrous joy. Emma was the female and Jamin the boy. Jamin was the most affectionate cuddle cat who let me hug and kiss him all the time. He'd greet me at the door and he was the best feline friend of mine. Okay, here we go again. Emma was more independent but had her loving moments just as well. But more on her own terms, and for that, it was good as well. I gave them tons of attention and doted on them every day. Jamin loved the game of peekaboo, which I was always ready to play. Emma blinked her eyes at me, and the blink was nice and slow. It's a cat's way of telling you they're content and they trust you more than you know. Then the poem I resumed way later, months later to finish it. So here we go. Up until now, I wasn't able to finish this heartfelt poem. My life was so scattered and I had no place to call my own. Things are much better now and my wounded heart is on the mend, but I still am not fully over the dear life of my feline friends. 
someday I hope to look upon their many pictures that haunt me so and feel the joy of my sweet girl and boy as they know I love them so. I feel great comfort when I envision them in heaven with the dear Lord above. He has a place there for his sweet animals who reside with him in love. For those of you who have lost your dear pets, there's a great hope to see them all again. God has them, has them there for us in heaven to be reunited with them again. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll finish this video because I, I would like to another time talk more about the, the trauma and how I dealt with it. It was, it was hard and uh, the hardest thing I've ever experienced and I'll just say this regarding my cats. The hardest part, it just was them dying from the smoke and that I couldn't save them. And I won't get into that right now. Just the whole thing, it was very ugly. That day was the ugliest day of my life. But it helps me understand now people go through trauma, you know? I mean, you know, like, you know, people have like, there's tornadoes lately and they're devastated and they lose their whole home and maybe they lose their pets, maybe they lose a loved one. So yeah, it's tough, you know, it's really hard. But anyway, so I'm gonna end it and that is for my beloved Emma and Jamin. And you know, I have two new pets and I love them. Now I'm developing a bond, but yeah, they're up there. And uh, yeah, I want hopefully there'll come a time that I can look at their videos and their pictures, but I can't, still can't do it. So anyway, it brings a sadness to me. So anyway, that's for them and I'm sharing myself. So until next time, I'll see ya.